Is jihad allowed or not? We see, we hear a lot about Mr. Fatih talking about jihad, right? Now listen to what he says about jihad, armed jihad. <clears throat> On page 69 of his book 2, this book here, he says, from an Islamic perspective, not an Islamist perspective, Islamic perspective, it is the Palestinian leadership that should face the wrath of all Muslims. Why? Because it is they who chose not to fight the Kuffar, army of the Latter-day Crusaders, the British, as they advanced to occupy Palestine. He goes on to say, shouldn't we be willing to consider the thought that our suffering today is the wrath of Allah for facilitating the occupation of Jerusalem by a European Christian power. Here Mr. Fateh is saying, the Palestinian leadership is guilty because they did not take up arms against the British. But then in the same, in this book, in the first book, he says the time for jihad is gone. The Mufti has made his declaration. On page 69 of his book 2, this book here, he says, from an Islamic perspective, not an Islamist perspective, Islamic perspective, it is the Palestinian leadership that should face the wrath of all Muslims. Why? Because it is they who chose not to fight the Kuffar, army of the Latter-day Crusaders, the British. Here Mr. Fateh is saying, the Palestinian leadership is guilty because they did not take up arms against the British. But then in the same, in this book, in the first book, he says the time for jihad is gone. The Mufti has made his declaration.